Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects and create new composition. Let's rename it to Scene 1. Set its width to 1920 pixels, height to 1080 pixels, also set its duration to 8 seconds, and hit OK. Now, let's import some video clips into Project Panel. And drag one of those in Timeline. Right click and pre-compose it, also rename it. Cool. Now, create a new composition, rename it to Shadow, and hit OK. Right click, and create new solid layer. Also set its color to white. And hit OK. Select Pan Behind tool, also make sure to enable this snapping, it will help to place our anchor point easily. Now move this anchor point to right corner. Click on this layer, and press S. To open scale properties, also unlink this, and set its value to 50%. Now, go to effects and presets, and search for gradient tramp. And drag it to this layer. Set its start ramp value to 0. And end ramp value to 480. Set ramp scatter to 500, and set its blend value to 85. Cool. Now, click on this layer, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate it three times. Also set its mode to multiply. Again duplicate this layer, and press P, to open position properties, and drag it to left side. Cool. Now, click on this project panel, and open this scene 1 composition. Also drag this shadow comp into this layer. Also enable its rasterize. Cool. Now, right click and create new adjustment layer, and place it below this shadow layer. Now, go to effects and presets, and search for apply colorlet. And drag it to this adjustment layer. And select a lit file. Cool. This will apply color grading on our video clip. Now. Go back to Project Panel, and create new composition. Rename it to Text 1, also set its height to 150 pixels, and hit OK. Now, create new text layer, and type your text, and resize it. Also make sure, your text is aligned to center. And paragraph is set to center text. Cool. Now click on Text Layer, and press D. E. To open opacity, now place time indicator bar to 5 frames forward, and click on stopwatch, and set its value to 0%. Place it here. Set its value to 100%. Now place this time indicator here, and create a keyframe to hold this animation. Also place it here, and bring it down to 0%. Now. Click on this layer, and press P, to open position properties, and create keyframe on 5th frame. And move this text down on Y axis. Now place this time indicator here, and bring this text back to original position. Again create a keyframe to hold this animation. And now move this text up on Y axis. Cool. Click on text layer, and press U. Now click on this animate, and select tracking. Bring this time indicator to first frame, and click on this stopwatch. And set its value to 20. Now move this time indicator bar on 6 seconds, and set its value to 40. 
Now, select these keyframes. Right click, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, make sure you selected this speed graph. Now select these, and drag this bar completely. Cool. Now, click on this composition, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate it. Double click to open this. Now change your text. Also resize it. Unselect its keyframes on position. Now, place this indicator bar on 5th frame, and move this text up on Y axis, and click on this stopwatch to create keyframe. Now place this bar here, and bring this text to original position. Move this bar here, and create keyframe to hold its animation. And now move this text down on Y axis. Also, bring this time indicator on first frame. And set its tracking amount to 5. And on 6 seconds, set its value to 0. Select these keyframes, right click and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, select these, and drag this bar completely. Cool. Open scene 1, and enable proportional grid. Select pen tool, now, right click and create new shape layer. Now while holding shift, create a straight line. Just like that. Also, make sure to keep its stroke to 2 pixels. Now, move this time indicator to 5th frame. And click on this shape layer, and press S, to open scale properties. Also unlink this, and click on the stopwatch. And set its value to 0%. Move this time indicator here, and set its value to 40%. Again create a keyframe to hold this animation. Now, place this bar here, and set its value back to 0%. Click on this layer, and press E, to open opacity. Click on this stopwatch and set its value to 0%. Now taking the reference of these keyframes, let's create keyframe for opacity. Cool. Now, drag this text composition to timeline, select both text layers, and press P, to open its position properties. Now using position place this text here. Cool. Now, create a new composition, rename it to main, and set its height to 1080 pixels. And set its duration to 30 seconds. And hit OK. Now, drag this scene 1 into this timeline. Click on this layer, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate it. Now select this rectangle tool, and enable proportional grid. Now taking the reference of this layout, create a mask, on half of this clip. Do this same for another layer too. Cool. Let's create more scene for slideshow. To do that, click on this scene 1 composition, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this. Double click to open this composition. Now, click on this placeholder, and duplicate this composition. Now click on this layer, and while pressing Alt, click on this precomp, and drag it to replace it with new one. Do this same procedure for text layers. This technique will help you to use same composition differently as much as you want. Now replace your video clip. Cool. Also change its text.
cool. This way, we can reuse these compositions, without creating it from scratch. Now, go back to main composition, and drag this scene 2 composition into this timeline, and duplicate this layer. Now copy the mask and paste it on each separate layer, so we don't have to draw the mask again. Just like that. Now, move these layers at 4 seconds forward. Now select all layers, and enable its 3D and motion blur. Now click on this layer, and press R, to open rotation properties, place it at 4 seconds, and create keyframe on Y rotation. Move this time indicator bar on 6 seconds, and set its value to 180 degree. Now, click on this layer, and press R, to open rotation, place this time indicator bar on 4 seconds, and create keyframe on Y rotation. Also set its value to minus 180 degree. Place it on 6 seconds, and set its value to 0 degree. Let's adjust this composition length bars. This looks good to me. Let's preview this. Awesome. So, using same steps as we discussed, you can create as much as scene you want for each video clip. You only need to take care of placing this keyframes properly. Once you completed this, right click, and create new shape layer. and create a straight horizontal line. Just like that. Also set its composition mode to soft light. Let's adjust its position a bit. Now, right click and create new solid layer, select its color to black, and hit OK. Select this ellipse tool and create a mask. You can adjust its mask as you want. Now explore mask and set it to subtract. Also set its feather to 600. Now lastly, select these layers and press U, to reveal all keyframes. Select these, right click and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and adjust its graph something like this. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome! This looks really amazing. You can also download this template, link in description. So, this way we have created this amazing slideshow inside After Effects. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.